hi guys today i will be sharing a very delicious cupcake called mocha cupcakes for the ingredients we need two eggs one and a half teaspoon of vanilla half a cup of milk one and a half cups of cake flour one teaspoon of baking powder half a teaspoon of salt one tablespoon of cocoa powder that that is Dutch process one and a half tablespoon of instant coffee two tablespoon of sugar this is for the meringue three parts cup of sugar half a cup of butter four tablespoon of sour cream and this is one fourth cup of chalk chips but this is optional you don't need to have this to begin, we will combine the cake flour, salt, baking powder, and cocoa powder. We will just give this a mix. And then we will set this aside. We will sift this later. Combine the coffee with the milk. Give it a mix. And then we will set this aside as well. Using an electric beater, we're going to beat the butter. It would be a lot easier if your butter is at room temperature. And then we will add the sugar. Once it's well combined, we can add the vanilla. And it's now time to separate the eggs. The egg yolks will go to the butter mixture. And then the egg whites, we're gonna set aside for later. And now we're gonna beat the butter mixture again. Now we can add in the sour cream. Again, this is four tablespoon. At this point, we can add the coffee milk mixture as you can see here the butter will split but that's totally normal if you don't want this to happen you can alternate the um, milk coffee mixture to the dry ingredients but for me this is a lot easier so I do this method once the um, flour mixture is in here anyway it's gonna come back to um, a smooth mixture at this point, we can sift in the dry ingredients. To mix this, I normally use a spatula using the folding method. Now we can add in the chalk chip. Again, this is optional. You don't have to put it. At this point, the batter is still heavy, so we're going to move on to the next step. So I've got my two egg whites in here, and then I'm going to beat it until it's frothy. Once it's frothy, I'm going to gradually add the two tablespoons of sugar. Once the sugar is all in, we're going to continue to beat this until it reaches the peak stage. just like so and now we're gonna add the meringue into this butter in two additions the meringue here is just to lift the cake but it's not gonna make it a chiffon cake it's not enough to do that it's just gonna make the cupcake light and airy Now 
By the way, I preheated my oven at 170 degrees Celsius. Now our butter is light. I have a cupcake pan here lined with cupcake liner and I'm filling each hole about three quarters full of the butter. And again, we're going to bake this in a preheated oven at 170 degrees Celsius for about 20 to 25 minutes or until when you insert a skewer in the middle and the skewer comes out clean. Before baking, give it a light tap. All in all, I made about 14 cupcakes but keep in mind my cupcake pan is slightly bigger than the normal cupcake so you could make more. And this is what it looks like after baking. Now, I usually remove my cupcakes from the pan as soon as it's done baking. They said that it prevents the um, oil from seeping out into the um, cupcake liner so you have a neat um, cupcakes. And this is my um, Swiss Mocha Swiss Meringue Buttercream. I'll put, I'll put the link below on where you could get the recipe and procedure for this. And now I've got... Um, piping bag and I've got a um, 1M piping tip start piping the um, swirls on top of your cupcake and continue piping until you finish piping with all the cupcakes now to finish the cupcakes I have some crispy balls in here to put as decoration and this is the finished product i hope you give them a try this is so good you're not gonna be disappointed making this and just to show you what it looks like when you cut the cupcake inside It's very moist and delicious. So I hope you give this a try. And if you like the video, please um, click the thumbs up. And I'll see you again next week. Bye!